to Mocha Royalty TV. I'm your girl Lauren G and today me doing a wig review as you can see. Also showing you how I install it as well. So if you would like to see how your girl got this look right here. Okay, look at that. Got this look right here and um wants to see what the hair is all about be sure to keep watching and also i know times are really hard right now um with everything going on between corona and the black lives matter movement however let me just say this black lives matter today tomorrow and for forever so don't let the movement die down y'all like you have to keep up the momentum you have to keep talking about it don't stop talking about it it's too crazy in the world right now for everyone to stop talking about it. We need to continue to bring light to the situation and make sure justice is served for not only Breonna Taylor, for not only George Floyd, but for everyone who has ever been a victim of police brutality or some sort of injustice in any system in America. But without further ado, with all that being said, let's get into the video. <music> The first thing I'm going to be doing is parting my hair and getting it ready to be braided down or cornrowed down because it's not going to fit under this wig otherwise. So, here, if my braids look raggedy, don't come for me. I don't know how to cornroll, so I'm letting y'all know that now. Okay, so are there any other black girls out there that don't know how to cornrow their hair properly, just kind of do it halfway so whatever looks somewhat right <laughs> to get the job done? Because I feel like growing up, I was not taught how to cornrow and I just feel like I'm missing out. Like I could be doing so many more different styles with my hair if I only knew how to cornrow. But I guess over Corona, that just means it's my time to go on YouTube and watch some videos on how to do this for real. Because this is getting, like, really sad. Like, I honestly could do so many more cute hairstyles if I only knew how to cornrow my hair properly. But that's okay, because while Corona is here, that's when it's my turn to learn. Y'all, I did this kind of fast, honestly. Like, this is the fastest I ever corn up my hair. Like, it usually takes me hours. Only because I be doing other stuff like watching TV, eating, on Instagram. But I got this done in like a good 30 minutes. So, kudos to me. Okay, so I'm back and my hair is corn rolled down. And now I'm going to be putting on my wig cap. I gotta open up the little package. Uh, my wig came with. So I'm gonna be using the one they sent me. the stocking cap method that you guys see all over Instagram and what I'm going to do first before I even put the wig cap on is I'm going to tuck the braids or form them kind of like a wrap in the back so that it's flat all the way around I normally would bobby pin it but it's okay we just going to let the cap do its job. All 
All right, y'all. So now I'm going to be going in with my Got To Be Free Spray. And honestly, this is my first time actually using the spray this way. Like, usually I just put the wig cap on as you guys see it now. And then let that be that. And then glue that wig on. But I want to actually try it today. Because I've been seeing on Instagram how um the wigs lay down and actually look more transparent when you do the wig cap method this way instead of just you know putting it on so what you want to do is spray where your hairline is underneath the wig cap because what you don't want is the wig cap to be too far down on your forehead then you're going to look strange when you actually put the wig on because you have to cover up the wig cap obviously so um I'm just spraying where my hairline is and I'm using my um, rat tail comb to like kind of brush the spray back so it doesn't get all over the wig cap and it's glued down in weird places. As you can see it kind of got all over the place because my spray can is actually kind of broke. But um, I'm just spraying it all over my hairline and letting it sit. Okay, so now I'm just cutting little tiny ear holes um, where my ears are so that I can, um, you know, cut the excess wig cap away. And what you don't want to do is cut too big of a hole because, as we all know, stockings, they tend to run and they run far. Like, the hole can get too big. So, I just make, like, a small one and kind of work your ear through because it'll get bigger as you stretch it around your ear anyway. All right, so because um, the got to be glue, it didn't get on some areas, I just went ahead and put some ghost bond on the areas that it didn't really stick to well enough, like some parts of the top of my head and most definitely um, right in front of my ear where it kind of like rises up at, right where I cut, um, just to make sure that it lays down flat underneath the wig and it doesn't make it look bumpy underneath the lace. So now I'm going back in with my scissors and I'm cutting around the lace that I didn't glue down and I'm also cutting some of the spots where the glue got on that I didn't want it to so it's not like awkwardly shaped on my um, forehead so that way the, the wig excuse me, can lay down um, properly and evenly. All right, so I'm going to be taking my NYX foundation in the color Espresso, I believe. I'll leave the um, all the products I use down in the description box down below. So you can check those out if you want to, you know, see what I use. And I'm going to be applying that all over the wig cap in the front. Not necessarily the back because you can't really see the back through the wig. But um, most definitely in the front and just slightly on my forehead Um right after the wig cap because um, you don't want to put too much because then it'll mess up the glue and make it not stick as well but um, just a tiny bit to make sure that it blends together well and nicely.
y'all know that TikTok that go like. That's all I could think about during this part, but that's okay because she got her lashes on and her eyebrows on and she's still popping. Anyway, so what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting that back part of the lace off. Um, it's not a 360 lace, so I don't have to do it any certain way. It's just a frontal. So I'm just going to snip this off and then um, put this on so I can start cutting off the um, actual frontal lace part. And now I'm just showing you the back part of the lace. Um, like I said, it's not a 360 frontal. It's just a regular 13 by 4 frontal. And I'm going to be showing you what it looks like after I cut it as well. And now I place the wig on my head and I'm just seeing where the wig cap and the actual wig hairline itself line up. So that way I know where to put my glue at and um, how I have to position the wig. And for this part, you don't want to like zoom through it or anything because you don't want to end up having like one side be too far down or one side be too far back and have it kind of crooked looking on your head. So make sure when you're doing this part that you go like, um, you take your time basically and you don't rush it and after that I'm going in with my ghost bond um I believe it's the regular ghost bond like I said I'll put it in the description box down below and um, I'm just going in with a tiny amount you don't need too much of this because it's a very strong glue I'm just going in with my ghost bond and I'm applying it in small very very small amounts on my forehead so that way I know that the wig is placed on correctly and that way I can make adjustments as I go if something isn't right. Okay, so now I'm going in and I'm cutting the lace and I'm just going to be following the glue line of where the hair was glued down at. Um, and I had to put my glasses on because I could not see what I was doing without these things on. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to be following the glue line and um, making sure that I don't cut any unnecessary hair as well. So being very, very careful and cutting very, very slowly. Alright, so now what I'm doing, I'm taking a Q-tip and I'm using the same foundation from earlier and I'm just dabbing that on the lace um, to help it blend in just a little bit more because um, some of the parts didn't get on the actual lace, it got on my forehead as I was predicting it would. So um, I'm just going in with a Q-tip and just dabbing the areas that could be um, a tad bit darker because the lace I had, um, I think it came with the knots bleached, I'm not too sure, but it just was not my skin color, so... But that's fine. I'm um, just going to go in and blend it out with this Q-tip and foundation. Alvin Brown Beats. Alvin Brown
Okay, so here comes the fun part. Um, I'm going to be spraying my hair in water. I'm going to be um, not drenching it, but getting it wet enough. <laughs> wet enough to the point where, you know, the products I'm going to put in it can just go in smoothly. And after I finish wetting it and make sure it um, has enough moisture in it, I'm going to be spraying uh, my Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Half and Half Hydrating Silkening Hair Milk. Um, it's $7 and you can get it from like Target, your beauty supply store. Um, and that's what's in the pink spray bottle that I'm using. And then I'm going to be using my Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Butter. And then I'm going to be using the Gold Series from Pantene, the Hydrating Butter Cream. And I'm also going to be using my Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils um, Frizz Rebel Coconut and Sweet Almond Oil. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be using is water. And um, I'm using the spray bottle I got from Target. What I really want to use is that spray bottle I've been seeing all over Instagram that the naturals are using. And it's kind of like a misting bottle. Like that's what it looks like when the water comes out. It looks so nice. And I've heard so many great reviews on it. So maybe I'll get that next time. But right now I'm also spraying in my hair. That's what's in the pink bottle. My Aunt Jackie's Half and Half Hydrating Silkening Hair Milk. This stuff works wonders not only in this wig but in my actual hair as well and then after i make sure my hair is you know um wet enough and you know hydrated enough i guess you can say i'm going to be going in with my curls creme brulee um whipped curl butter this stuff also works wonders in my actual hair as well and then after I use that, I'm going to be going in with the Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream from Pantene. Now, I was kind of skeptical because I was like, Pantene, mm, I mean, you know, that's more of a brand for people with straight hair compared to, you know, kinky, coily African hair. So um, I was kind of skeptical, but this, the Gold Series, works so well. Like, I was very very shocked and very very pleased so i would recommend you go get it i got mines from target and i want to try the other products in the gold series line as well but um this is just the first thing i started off with and it works wonders so go get it and then after i use this the gold series um buttercream i'm going to be going in with my frizz rebel coconut and sweet almond oil from aunt jackie's as well So for one of the last steps, I'm going to be putting on a headband. I actually got this headband for sh from Shein for like, what, like $2? But um, I'm going to be using this headband and just, you know, pulling my hair back so I can get ready to do these baby hairs and do these edges. And for these edges, I'm going to be using, you know, a regular edge brush and my rat tail comb. And I'm also going to be using um, my mousse. This is one of my favorite mousses to use, the Cream of Nature um, Argan Oil from Morocco, the Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. Um, it's been working for me so far. I know some people say that mousse doesn't really work for them, but I mean, it's been working for me, so I'm gonna keep using it until I find something else. <laughs> I forgot to mention that I'm going to be using this edge booster. I use this for my real hair as well, and it works wonders as well. But um, I'm going to be using this to start off my edges, and I'm going to be going in with the mousse, the um, cream of nature mousse, um, afterwards. <laughs> Thank you. 
glad you guys saw how I installed this wig. It's time to talk about it. Okay, so when I first got it, I also bought another wig. It was just a regular body wave wig. Body wave? Yeah, body wave wig. And um, it's the same length, 20 inches. I don't know if y'all can see how long this is. Just a little bit past my boobs. But um, when I first got it, it was really soft. But for some reason, this one in particular had a horrible smell. I'm talking about like a bucket of dead fish. But once you wash it, I mean the smell is still kind of there, which is kind of like a negative, but other than that, after you wash it, it's not too strong. And then once you actually like, you know, do it, like put your products in it, then re-wet it, you know, to brush it, the smell is gone. So, I mean, as long as it goes away, I'm not really too mad about it because a lot of times when you do buy hair it comes with the smell but um I really like it and after I washed it it was actually very very soft like oh my gosh it felt like <laughs> for lack of a better word it's like it was just so soft um and once I put my products in it um this is my first time putting product in it um on camera so we'll see how the hair does with this product we'll see if it frizzes and all that um but it's still very very soft now another thing i can say is that it had just a little bit of shedding when i washed it and when um i first took it out of the package it was in it was just in like a plastic bag um after it came in like the actual what do you call it like the actual mail packaging I had another plastic bag inside of it which had the wig inside of that so um it had a lot of sh not a lot but it was more than what I was expecting to have and the body wave wig that one had like very very minimal shedding like it wasn't even a lot but this this by a couple I need more than a few but we'll see how this goes I hope it doesn't shed too much more I hope it was just, you know, the first wear type of thing when you get your new hair and, you know, got to get all the strands that probably weren't securely installed inside of the actual, like, you know, the lace part. But other than that, I'm not, I don't have any complaints. I love this hair. It's really soft. It looks cute. Okay. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll link the hair and the other wig I got in the description box down below, as well as all the other products that I used. Um, so if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment down below other videos you want to see. Also other products you might want me to try. And yeah, be sure to subscribe as well. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Mocha Royalty TV. I'm your girl, Lauren G, and I'll see you next week.